Um, that's okay. I think that's both of the robots destroyed. There's probably a couple more mimics around, but I'll find them. I'll find them eventually. Emails, of course. Engineer stuff. Bits and things. Um, and also this guy. Peter Coleman. He had a thing on him. Ooh. Beat up a robot. Ow, I think that actually hurt me. Internal lock. Every airlock has a manual seal you'll have to disengage before you can spacewalk. Spacewalk? Oh my god, I remember the spacewalks, yeah. When the enemy is already inside the station. If you do go out there, I wouldn't stray far. The typhon may have spread to the exterior. And remember, other airlocks you find will have to be opened from the inside first. Last thing. You don't have a propulsion system for your suit yet. You'll need one to maneuver. Right, yeah. So I need to get the thing. How do we get in here? I need to get the thing that lets me base walk, don't I? So, refresh three. Oh, I can't go in there. There's like loads of cool stuff. No, the loot. What's that? Mm hmm. Noises. Ah! You little... I wanna... <laughs> they just keep appearing. Leave me alone. Ah! Stop! Almost dead. That did a lot of damage to me. I was on like 60 health. Okay, let me... Um, let me eat some food. What have I got? Oh, actually I can make medkits. That's probably... I can use medkits. There we go. That's better. Nice and healthy. Yeah, I was gonna have a look, see what this thing is over here. Ah, radiation. So this is gonna, like, damage me. Can I... Sprint in? Because there was something here. I want the glue gum. Then I want to run away. Oh, I'm irradiated. Statuses. How do I look at those? Status? Ah, they damage. And radiation sickness. Prevents well fed. Stamina drains faster. Stumbling. Use anti rads or visit a medical operator. Alright, I need to repair my suit as well. Suit repair kit. Use one of those. Do I have any anti-rads? I don't think so. So I need to find a medical operator. I know where there was one of those. I can just go back to it. But I also want to see if I can... Hmm. Is this going to work? I don't think so. Oh, a nice transfer junk and also this, this, and this. Cool. Recycle all of this stuff. Whoa, one of those got fired off over here. Uh, and there's some other bits around apparently. Artax propulsion system. Oh, so that's how I can make the jetpack thing. And some emails. Psychotronic satellite. That doesn't sound good. Okay. Okay. Files. Huntress bolt caster. Okay, so this lets like a little nerf gun that lets me um like trigger buttons and things from a distance, which is cool. Let's fabricate. Let's make uh, a propulsion system. Create. Now I've got a jetpack. Hooray! Um, 
I think I might need some glue gun ammo. I've got 181 actually. 325, 40 tin silence pistol. Can I make the silence pistol ammo? Is that 9 m? Um, I think it must be the 9mm bullets. Make one of those. We'll get 30. And I'll also make another set of glue. Cannon thingies. 84. Cool. Oh, I keep hitting escape to get out of that menu. Um, I can jetpack up here now, can't I? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gonna take some getting used to the jetpack system. God, it's it's pretty bad. There we go. EMP charges and some other stuff. Uh, can I get over here? Um, right, that Mimic, what did he turn into? Did I kill him? Oh, there he is. And there's another one on this shelf. Oh, I'm going to have to drop down. I think. What did he turn into? Maybe he didn't. Maybe that was just the death of the first one. I think. Uh, we need to up the reload speed on the glue cannon. The actuators are slow. Okay, I can do that. Got an upgrade kit now. Yep. Actually, that's a good point. Let's see what stuff I've got. So I've got three Neuromods. So what do we want to go for? Increase your health. Increase your stamina. Increase movement speed. That could be useful. Uh, break down equipment in your inventory into spare parts and recover spare parts from operators. That could be useful. Increase recycling yield. Reduce stamina costs. Or doubles duration of well fed and health gained by consuming food. Your knowledge of medical practice increases the effectiveness of med kits. Mm, I'm going to double the effectiveness of food. And then can I get anything for the one that I have left? No. Fine. Oh, uh, and I also had upgrade kits, didn't I? So I've got two. So let's um, put one of them on. Blue cannon. I've already done incapacitation, right? Put up. Actually, no. I won't put it on that. I'll put it on. Oops. I'll go with the science pistol and I'll do range. Good range. And then I'll put the other one on the shotgun. Oops. Come on. No. Ah. Oh, come on. Menu. Oh, wait, what have I done? I've bugged it. I've put this. Hang on. I've managed to put two items inside each other. Uh, I'm going to increase firepower on that. That should be able to take out Phantoms in two shots now. Hope. What's this? Moon door. Repairs required. Can't do that. What's the moon door? This. Oh, so I can like launch a satellite. And also grab whatever loot is down here. <laughs> okay, well I can go outside now. 
Mary. Go to the exterior. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, Talos 1 orbits the moon some 385,000 kilometers away from Earth at 832 meters long. All right. Guess I won't read the rest of that then. Why could it not stay for like this part of the loading? <laughs> Instead of just giving me a black screen and a little loading thing in the bottom. Just the information. That'd be nice. Ooh. Microgravity. Right. Shift is thrust. Oh, hang on. Your trans-star suit is equipped with propulsion system to navigate the harsh environmental space. Navigate in zero G. Use WASD to thrust and shift to boost. Q and E to break. Uh, okay. Space to ascend. C to descend. Hold Q or E to roll. All right. Anything useful out here? There we go. Human corpse. Hull breach. Human corpse. Nice. My favorite things. So what am I actually... Oh, my objectives are in there. Why am I out here then? Fine, I'll go see what this human corpse is over here. Going almost 10 meters per second. That's quite fast. That's, that's actually very fast. No, let me loot. There we go. Uh, and then we've got human corpse over there. And where was that hole breach? Uh, definitely a hole breach somewhere. Airlock for psychotronics. Out of bay. Oops. Mary, what's the name? I am a lost already. The space is very confusing. Okay, this looks like something. Let's see what's over here. If I go too fast into something, am I going to die? Oh, I guess, right, this will be the whole breach then. <laughs> Oh, that's Dr. Calvano. This is why I'm here. And also for the loot, of course. Yoink. Oh, wait, a re wait, a what? Revolver? Oh, Reployer. <laughs> I can't read, apparently. Calvano. Uh, for the transcribe. Listen to that. Oh, just cut him off. Sorry, Dr. Carvani. Not surprising. Well done. Breach fail save. Can I fix that? No, damn it. Ooh. That was unexpected. Any more loot? Yes. There is a door up there as well that I can um go through. Can I go through this? Can I use this to Repair anything. What that? And there's a safe. Do I know the combination? Ah, oh, there's an error. So I assume I have to fix the airlock, uh, the, the fix the breach at some point. Then I can come in and unlock the safe and do all the other cool stuff in here. Anything else I can leak? Yes, grenades. Uh, and I won't be able to get in these until I fix the hole. Right, okay. Okay, let's let's head back out then. And there was something else like nearby. No? 
Locked. 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 Human corpse. Let's go there. You got that one, didn't we? Yeah. Let's see what this other human corpse is. Rolling through space. Wee. Oh, what's that? That's a little robot. Engineering operator. What's he doing out here? Can I talk to it? Hello. Oh, nice. He fixed my suit. <laughs> Grab the stuff from that person. And I guess... Uh... Guess I'll try and figure out how to get back. I'll find my way back. Oh. Oh. Wait. Did I just go straight into a... Oh, I thought that... I thought that was just space, but it's a wall. <laughs> I just flew headfirst into a wall. Right, where's that operator gone? <laughs> Hello, can you fix my seat again, please? I just flew into a wall. Thank you. Yeah, right. Don't tell me that these giant blue panels don't just look like space, because they definitely do. And that is why I flew directly into it. Grand star. That's cool. Let's see. Uh, airlock. Valve plant. Oh, ah, this way. Right. Back we go into the normal gravity where it's much easier to walk around and do things in general. I'll be careful I don't fly into anything though. Break. I'm glad there's no um, sort of like uh, fuel or anything for when you're outside. Like you can just be out there for as long as you want. You don't have to watch like a fuel counter or anything. That's quite nice. Or oxygen. Fuel and oxygen. In infinite fuel and oxygen. It's always nice to have when you're outside. Is my mic working okay? It's kind of quiet, I've just noticed. Quieter than usual, and the last time that that happened, it's, it had this horrible, like, crackly effect. Hopefully, it's okay. Fingers crossed. Why am I walking so... Oh, it's the radiation sickness. Jeez. Okay, where was that health doctor thing? They were, like, up there, weren't they? I wonder if I can get back up there. I'm walking like all wobbly. <laughs> I've got radiation sickness. Whoops. What's this? Operator. That's the utility one. That will that would have done my suit for me. Can I climb back up here at all? I reckon if I go up here I can. There we go. Alright. Please cure my radiation sickness. Let me in. So like wobbly. Hello. Wide. Good to see you again, Doctor Yu. Diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing affordable. Medical. Medical. Try to relax. The med kit wouldn't have handled my radiation sickness. Your feedback will be invaluable. Pardon me. Can't get out. Thank you. <laughs> okay. What have I got left? I think through this door. Yeah, this is where the breach is. Though I can't currently do anything in here until I fix the breach. That guy's back. Ooh. They can use lifts. 
Okay. Come in this way. What's he do? He's like reaching up for something. What are you doing? Bonk. That didn't do a lot of health. A lot of damage. Doesn't know. Shh. Yay. Now he knows where I am. Ow. We glue him. No, don't reload. Switch guns. I see you over there. Trying to hide. Flawless. He had a little fan on him. Hello. Good Hello. Can you heal me again? Thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad there's little robots around that will heal me. I'd love to fill out a service questionnaire for you. Ooh, a gun. I might actually need to go back to that fabricator soon. I have quite a lot of uh, junk. And what am I meant to do? Oh, I never went into the... Workshop, did I? No, I was in the right place before. Slide. Slide into the lift. Nope, wrong lift. Green is good. Red is not. Uh, ooh, I want to go in there at some point as well. I've got the key for this now. So if I unlock this... I think this area is safe from spookies. Ooh, hang on. I can... I can open this. And get that med kit. Yoink. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Alright, what cool stuff have we got down here? We got some fried hard drives, some repair stuff, some frayed wire. We got this calibrating diagnostic screen thingy. We got blue canisters. Uh, I can carry this massive whiteboard if I wanted to. Uh, we got that guy. Can I scan him? I can. Whoa. That's a lot of things. Uh, ooh, some more junk for me to recycle. My favourite. Um, what else? Engineers things, spare parts, fried hard drive. I love fried hard drives in here. Email. Uh, custom travel mug. Uh, Mary, this is Dr. Carvana. I require you to fabricate a travel mug that weighs exactly 170 grams. Empty, of course. My feeble hands need a lightweight container for my coffee. I'll be sure to put in a good word. Dr. Thorns... Or Thorn... 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 Thorstein. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, Clive, this is Dr. Carvano. I need you to modify a scale, so when it reads 170 grams, it sends an on-off signal. Ah, okay. I need to find a scale and a travel mug then. 23rd of February, that was, that was almost a month ago from when the game is set. And also, uh, some stuff about the looking glass. Okay, I need to find this scale. Oh, control tab. Power on. Bridge set looking glass. I love these things. These are so cool. Like the what the shaders they must have used to like get this to work. Very cool. I'm assuming that's what they 
must have used for it, but um, video playback network diagnostics. Where's the scale? That's that's something I like completely missed out on last time I played. Oh, that's it. Scale. Um. Okay, I. I'm gonna. I'm gonna assume. These aren't travel mugs, are they? Is any mug gonna work? You find out. If this is like an actual thing. Missed. Oh, maybe that's not a scale. <laughs> like, it can't have... That can't be not a thing. That's got to be something. The scale thing. Oops. I shoot it from this side, does it? Yeah. Test phase... Okay, let's start with this. Test phase one. Error could not connect. Test phase two. Verify and or restore. Okay, let's check the surface off. Online. Storing connection. Oh. Okay. Nice work, Morgan. The looking glass screens are online again. Head back to your office as soon as you can. It's important you hear the rest of your message. I'll meet you there. Keep accidentally clicking and shooting things. Also diagnostics. I think... What do these do? Do these repair things? Green damage detected. Yeah, that was that was me. I'm sure you can repair them somehow. Where do these cables go? Oh, these are only like half the size. Weird. So cool though. I need to figure out what that. I'll figure out what the weight thing is like another time. It might be somewhere else. Let me just check the name of the person real quick as well. Um, that it was T. Uh, Clive Lawrence. And the custom travel mug. Maybe I have to find them in two different places and then, like, take, carry them. Maybe I can pick up the mug and put it in my inventory. That would be cool. Right. So let's go in here. I never did this before. I believe there was... Something in here. Is there a mimic in here? Oop. Well, there's something up there. Oh, that's Clive Lawrence. Maybe the scale's down here. Uh, uh. Right. Think. Think up on it. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna deal with this guy and then see if I can find any special-looking scales. Step one, freeze him. Step two. Shotgun. Nice. This a uh, yes it is. Right, let's recycle all my junk and also spare gun. Uh is that it? Yep. 
Just ruined all my hard work sorting all my stuff out by auto sorting. I misread it. Oh, it said auto start. Okay. Who's been using these? <gasps> Wait, is that uh, a a travel mug? Doesn't say. I really want to figure out what this travel mug scale situation is. It's probably like, it's probably not even that cool. Oh, I got a chipset. Cool. Uh, press I to install it in my seat. Um, beam shielding. Reduce damage taken from laser attacks. Cool. Oh, I should also check my like neuromods because I've got I got two. Um, I can do combat focus. Don't think I'll ever actually use that, so I'll leave that one. And do I have any upgrades? Um, don't think so. Oh, I should be good. quickly recycle the other bits I picked up and then we'll go somewhere else climb up here see where this guy was going get ready to bash any mimics oh, I'm gonna have to go back down to recycle this glue gun this is Dr. Calvino what's up I'm feeling ill I not myself today I think I won't be in for my shift at all. Okay. Do you still want me to finish this array? I fabricated a shit ton of glass. Array? I don't recall. You asked me to set up a new array. You must have misunderstood. Uh, are you... <laughs> Honestly, I prefer if you left my experiments alone in my absence. Uh, well, look, I have a message you left me. Seriously, I would not have made all of this if you hadn't... Oops, cut off the conversation. No, no, of course. I uh, I remember now. Uh, let's just, uh, for the time being, uh, it doesn't matter. Oh. It doesn't matter? Uh, let's talk about it tomorrow. So they put one of the experimental ones in him. They used one on him. And they removed it and wiped his memory. So I wonder what he was trying to do while he had it installed that they wiped from him. Interesting. Alright, so I've just got to get back to my office now, don't I? Um... This Mary... What's her name? Oh dear. Uh, I didn't think... I didn't think there'd be a guy there. Fine. Yeah, didn't realise there'd be a guy there. Um, but what I was going to say is this, the Mary person that I'd um, started searching for. I don't know where she is. Oh, Jesus. What? Why did... Where did he go? Unlock the door. Okay, uh, crew, right. Um, Mary, oh, she's in the crew quarters. I guess she's moved. Crew quarters. Crew quarters. Are all the nominal people in the crew quarters? 
target me. I'm guessing those are people that have been mind controlled. Nice. Yeah, so I'll, I'll leave that for now. So I think I looked around all of the places in here. Um, I definitely did most of it. So let's go back here. You know what I've just realized? At the start of the stream I was like, oh yeah, I've got a bunch of conversation points I'm going to talk about. And then I completely forgot to talk about any of them. And I need to finish up soon. <laughs> so I'm going to I'm going to do my important conversation points now. So basically, I think it's been uh like it's it's like a couple months off being a year since I started streaming. Um and I uh I think I'm going to sort of make some new graphics for my my channel basically. Um, cause I've, I've had some cool ideas and I've been like, draw, like drawing some bits and things. Um, and I've just like, oh, that guy's different. Uh, yeah, I've just had like a bunch of cool ideas that I think will look cool and will be more, um, more like me, more me, you know? Cause I think the stuff I have at the moment, I like it. It's like, cool. It looks nice, but it's a bit... Like all the, it's very um, clean edges, hard lines, just that sort of thing, you know. Um, and I want to change that, like do some different stuff. So that's going to be something I'm working on. Probably it's probably going to take a while because I need to do all the bits and make sure I like it. And I've got like other college work to do, so it's not going to be a priority or anything. But it's just something I'm gonna like work on in my spare time a bit um and yeah that's just something i thought i'd mention um hopefully people like it when i finish it's gonna be it's gonna be quite different like changing a lot of things our resident counselor dr cole would like to encourage anyone experiencing symptoms of disturbed sleep chronic stress or anxiety to schedule an appointment in the trauma center. Oh, my turret's been bashed up a bit. And my door's open. That's why. You, why are you purple? Can I scan it? Yes, because it wasn't dead. I thought I killed it. Oh, yeah, I should scan that. Fine. I don't know what that was. Um... Right, yeah. So that's just something I wanted to talk about. My new graphics and things. The new look. Um, and I'm I'm probably gonna mess around with my Discord server. Um. And, like my Twitter, because I I use my Twitter quite a lot. So I'm gonna try and focus on putting some new stuff out there. Um. And yeah, some cool things that I'm going to be working on. Hopefully people like those. You're not going to like what I have to say next. You have to destroy Talos 1. The research, the Typhon, nothing can survive, including you. I know how it sounds, but you've seen what those creatures can do. They're a part of you now. If even one cell gets back to Earth, we're lost. I'm sorry. I wish there was another way. January can walk you through activating the self-destruct mechanism. Alex will try to stop you. He's allergic to failure. Too proud to go back to mom and dad with his tail between his legs. So it's up to you now. Good luck. Told you you wouldn't like it. All right. Uh, okay. Oh look, it's January. The robot. Hello. Hello, Morgan. 
I'm January 2035. I'm an operator. There are many operators aboard Talos-1, but none of them are like me. Over here. What? I'm your plan B. My first task was to free you from the simulation. The second task was to make sure you saw your video. Those are done. Interesting. New directives are now available to me. The self-destruct protocol for Talos-1 is activated by two arming keys. Your brother has the first. You had the second. Alex destroyed your arming key. But you hit a fabrication plan for a new one in deep storage. That's where you need to go next. We can worry about getting Alex's key afterwards. The Typhon are spreading fast, Morgan. You'll be racing against them. And your brother. This key card will grant you access to the main lift and all the labs. The main lift is the fastest way to reach deep storage. All right, I've got to, I've got to, like, kill my brother and blow up the space station and stuff. But it's all got to wait because I've got to stop streaming now. <laughs> oh, key card, thank you. So, um. Next topic. Oh, okay, you he's gonna carry to on. Don't worry then. More neuro mods, which I've done. Good luck, Morgan. I have more autonomy than a typical operator. The contents of the video are sensitive. Only a flesh and blood person could handle the responsibility, I presume. All right. Um. So that's that's yeah that's it for today. <laughs> Went on a tad longer than normal, like just half an hour or so more. Um. But yeah, I I love Prey. It's very nice. It's my my style of game. Like sneaking around. I think I prefer like Dishonored because it's a bit more like the combat. You can do stealthier combat, which I like. I love um like grabbing people from a distance and then knocking them out really fun uh but yeah i love this game too it's very good and i hope you're all enjoying enjoying it so far so we're just gonna hello did that work yeah there we go do a new save um and we're gonna finish up here for tonight i hope you'll um join me next time for the next bit of prey or whatever i do um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. See ya.